Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really exciting video today because last week we had our Be Better Golf School. Dr. Kwan came out from Texas and we had golfers from all over the place come out. One of the golfers that came to our golf school is called Jared Sawada. Jared is a pro golfer. He has played six PGA Tour events. I think he's around 31 maybe now. And he's played on and off the Corn Ferry Tour the last three years. So he came to our school last week and he's playing this week in Q School the first stage of Q school. So what you're gonna see in this lesson, extended lesson with Jared, is Dr. Kwan teaching him. Now, 90 plus percent of people, maybe even close to like 97% of people, you'll mostly hear Dr. Kwan talk about using the body. When Dr. Kwan did that lesson on Be Better Golf with Drew Cooper, the long drive uh, player and amateur golfer, good friend of mine, uh, that video got a lot of interesting comments and everything because uh, Dr. Kwan was telling Drew to not get as open as much. And this is interesting because like I said, m many, most, most, most uh, people, when they take a lesson from Dr. Kwan, he's talking about use the body, use the body. But there's a limited amount of people that he'll actually say, okay, you need to really activate your arm swing. Your arm swing needs to be much more active. Your body's turning and there's a reason for that in how the arm swing itself will stabilize the body to give a more stable hit. That's similar to what you're gonna hear in this lesson, it's really interesting. And I can report that after three rounds in the first stage of Q School, Jared is in first place right now out at Ironwood Country Club in Palm Springs area. So he's leading Q School right now after three rounds. So there's one more round to go. So it really could be life-changing for Jared because the last three years, he's gotten one start each year, I think, on the Corn Ferry uh, School. I'm not sure, but I think I think that's that's right. And he's played well on the Golden State Tour and on some other things. But if he could get even uh, some conditional or full-time status on the uh, Corn Ferry Tour, it would be big. You'll see this lesson is it's not cut and dry. It's not just a watershed moment where it's like, aha. The thing that was really most instructive for me and what that you'll see in this lesson is watching Jared, a really good pro, take a lesson is very different than like watching myself take a lesson or watching other people take lessons. The entire time that Dr. Kwan is uh, telling him to do different things and the whole time he was at the school, I was constantly seeing Jared like really in this conversation with himself, moving his body, thinking about, okay, how would that feel? You know, really uh, getting uh, connected with his body as far as like the motions and everything and putting a lot of deep thought into it. It was like a constant back and forth. It was, so the communication between his body and then his mind seems like on a different level that regular players should tap into more often. So here's this lesson. All right, we're at the Be Better Golf School with Dr. Kwan and Jared, who's a tour player, plays on the Corn Ferry Tour and has played in six PGA Tour events. Yep, yep. There you go. So uh, Jared's a really good player. What are you looking for from your game, Jared? Uh, it's a little more consistency. Uh, bring the scores down one or two more strokes and that'll get me on the tour. What would you like to see Jared do, Dr. Kwan? Uh, let's do a stage three in uh, the regular swing, but uh, you have to connect stage three to uh, your regular swing. So develop good rhythm with the stage three, and then uh, use it uh, in the regular swing. Okay. So again, what you need stage to three is zero steps. Yeah. Okay. What you need to remember is that uh, you have active back swing. Fast. And instead of a uh, manufactured back swing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So okay. let's go with the uh, stage three. Use the stage three as your push-up routine. Then you suddenly stop at the top, almost. Here. Yes. Your motion is uh, quite fast, but you pretty much stop. Don't stop. So make it continuous. Yes. Yes. That's very good flow. 
Okay. So when you when you hit, you don't have to do uh, the trigger. Just uh, use uh, your regular swing. Now, in the down swing, you tend to turn your body too much to left, so your body is arching. Need this more. No, no, no. no. You're, you're turning a lot. So instead, in the, in the down swing, just to try to bring your hands uh, in front of your body. Use your arms and uh, wrist a bit more instead of turning the shoulder excessively. Okay? Yeah. That would look good. Ah, you slow down the next one. Slow down. Yeah. Keep it fast. And also, you just to try to put a lot of effort in the downswing, and your 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 body is a bowed. The turning your sh shoulders excessively in the downswing. Don't open up. So instead, let's try try, try to uh, throw the arms and clip toward the target more more actively. No, no, no. You're going. You're going too far left. Bring so bring the hands. So bring the hands a bit close to your body. On the way down. No, still it's, a, it's a going too, too much away from the body. So in your case, what's happening is the hands are going too far away from the body. And then, it's so, uh, and then you try to turn a lot here. But instead, bring the hands a bit closer with that just a natural turn here. Close to your body, yes. Then that will give you really a uh, real uh, body body swing. But if the hands leave away from the body, then it's a uh, fairly arm swing. Yeah. Good shot. Nice. Is that on the over the top level? Not now, not quite. Not right. quite. So generally, your tendency is, uh, if you call, recall your original swing. Yes. In, in the back swing, your arms tend to go high up here. Yep. And also on the way down, the hands are moving away from the target, hit the ball, and then turn a lot here. Right. Try to keep it a bit flatter here, and on the way down, try to keep the hands close to your body, mm -hmm. and really bring it uh, closer to the center of mass of the body, and then let it go. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I you understand. Stay three, faster, faster, faster. Let the clever go more. Yeah. Wow, that was good. What shape do you like? Uh, With the driver, I'd like to see a fade. Okay, so like the last one. Yeah. yeah. This that one was a. No, I I hit a toe on that one. Okay. The regular swing, you slow down the back swing. Yeah, make, so in order to make a back swing still uh, more active in regular swing, you have to shift initially. I think uh, you worked on this uh, later. Yeah. Uh, earlier, but uh, shift first and then push up. Shift first and then go, uh -huh. turn around. So. Mm, okay. Okay. Using the right leg. Yes, yes. Again, it was slow down a little bit. <laughs> Your practice. I'm going good. as fast as I can go. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way I can go fast. Oh, great shot. There's the yeah, fail. That was a nice, straight one. Got the straight. umbrella. Almost. So more than anything, try to keep the hands a bit close to your body, so that bring the swing plane down a little bit. Okay, so that you. My understanding of close to the body, it starts here. It's keeping it close to the body, it's like that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going too far away like this. Up, and then also your head is going out too much. Yeah.
That was a fast backswing on that one. It was. I heard a whoosh. And that one legit landed at the top. Okay, I didn't even watch that one. No, like yeah, it does. You know, those little pulls have power. That 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 landed at the top and one hopped over. Is when uh, your your hands go away from the body too much, yes. and then your shoulders turn too early. You're turning a lot. And essentially, uh, you're not really keeping good gaze on the ball. You bring closer, and then here impact, and then turn around. So again, try to bring your your throw your arms in in front of your body toward the target. All the way down. Throw your arms while uh, keeping the hands a bit closer. Am I not doing that? That's so right. uh, when the arms are going for go faster, then your body will slow down a little bit. So you don't have to turn that much. Uh, the body turns already and then starts the, the arms are following. Yeah. Throw, try to throw the arms more actively forward. Yeah. Then they, then they will give you a bit slow down uh, the body turn. So now stage three, really fast the back swing. Yep. Remember that pattern and then go to your re regular swing. Okay. Use the trigger motion. Mm. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Use your legs and you get it fast. Really good. That was really good. You like that one or no? It did, it was solid though. I mean, I'm, I'm super slow backswing. This is super slow to the other side. There's a lot of room in between where I'm kind of stuck at. And so, of course, it's not going to feel very, very nice. While you're using, doing the backswing, while you're using the right leg, at the same time, try to move uh, faster. Yes. Mm -hmm. Still, because you you try to turn. I'm your trying body. to turn this way. Yes. Too so please show me that not turning through it. You between your arms and the body, we have a muscles in here. Yeah. When you activate these muscles and try to throw the arms fast, that these muscles will help the arms to move that way. It will also slow down the body rotating that way. Which is what you want. Yes. Yeah. Slow down. So it will slow down the body turn while the arms are going faster. So more than anything, once you start here, instead of yeah, 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 yeah. Like this. Rather, try to throw, let it go. Yeah. I, I don't understand enough to do it. So simply just to try to bring your, your hands in front of your body. Where are they now? In back of my body? So remember, uh, imagine that here's a, a big drum here. Okay. You're, you're hitting the drum really hard at this position here. The hands are here. Yep. And then turn, keep turning. And then go this way. And then if you move your arms really fast this way, then your upper body will actually slow down. Yes, you yes. A safer, uh, you have a more stable finish. But if you, because uh, you in your previous swing, you let the arms out quite a bit. Then you try to keep turning the body. Uh -huh. Instead, this this action. Uh -huh. Let it go and then finish here. Instead of so stall the body, stall the body. Instead of uh, instead of trying to stall the body, if you swing the arms faster forward without using the body, or make it or make it the body will slow down. Let me just try some really weird ones. Yeah. That's what you want? No. Something like that, but you still have to turn your pelvis reasonably that way. But try to swing your arms faster instead of turning your, your shoulders a lot. Okay, okay. Counterintuitive, but I can do it. So use the faster back swing and then give good shoulder turn during the back swing. All the way down, throw your arms. Yeah. Okay. 
So that actually that will give you better control because currently your your body is turning too much on the way down. Crazy. I thought I wanted to open up as hard as I can. Yeah, that's a thing, and a lot of people say in instruction, Dr. Kwan, that they want to be as open as possible. At yeah, but the, you have wider stance here, and then turning a lot. The body is going, the hands are going far away, all the way turning here. Once your your shoulder turns too early, so your gaze is uh, sort of leaving the ball, it's hard to control. And so the thing is, go up, good wind up. And There's just too much to think about. Yeah, it's just, and I'm not time. doing any of it good. You know, I'm doing everything mediocre, all these little steps. So, in order to uh, use the body and the arms well, you have to bring it a bit closer to the body. When, when you try to uh, intentionally use arms more, but the hand goes away from your body, it's all arms here. If you bring the, the hands closer to your body, then you will be able to uh, use the legs. When you swing, you have you should be able to use the legs and push the left leg. Uh, stage X, uh, swing back and forth a few times. Feel the flow. Uh, particularly, use your your legs to uh, control the the tempo. The, the down swing instead of pull it down here, yeah, yeah, yeah. pull it down here. Try to push out push out so that you can use the left leg. When you do the stage X, you put it down, put it down here. The chip is moving backward yes. too much. Pull it down. Instead, drop it here and then push out. Drop and throw. Drop this side and then throw out by kicking the ground with the left leg. In the down swing, try to stand on your left side. Stand on your left side by pushing the ground. So with that, you can throw the arms quickly. So as long as you so toward the toward the end of the back swing, you and then slightly drop the body, and then your left knee is flexed, right? So from here, when you start the down swing, push the ground with the left leg, and then turn your shoulder. Huh. Yeah. So when this goes up, with you will turn. So kick. Yeah. Exactly. Kick. Kick more actively, kick more actively. <clears throat> Instead of this. Yeah. <clears throat> just faster. I, I use it. I see it's uh, faster. Yes, You're it's kicking faster. it that way. What do you mean? No, no, no. I want you to turn the pelvis quickly by pushing the ground with the left leg. Yep. That's that's it. Yeah. That will give you a pelvis turn and a shoulder turn. Yes. So shift to the right. Turn. A slight. Recenter. This is all you need. From here, push the ground with the left leg by extending the knee and the turn. Yes. Now you see the way you're using the leg is very okay. Good. Okay. Thank you, Doctor Kwan. That's the back swing. Yeah. So you are starting the down swing with the closed position here. Yes. Go yes. Up. And from here, just let it go. Instead of bring all the way down uh -huh. and then opening the pelvis, right? That's, that's what I learned the whole time. <laughs> it's a little opposite. But the, the problem is that when the player plays well with whatever swing that is, that is, it just uh, justifies whatever you're using. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a great point, yeah. So good, wind up and then recenter and, the left. Yeah, and let it go. Okay. I don't know if I'm ready, but we try. My uh, opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So, so instead of uh, really by turning this way a lot and then hitting the ball, go wind up from here. <clears throat> throw. Then you don't have to turn that much. Backwards. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So that was a really interesting lesson. It was one of the most interesting lessons that I've watched live, not just in what Dr. Kwan said, but just in watching Jared, a really great player, take that lesson was really uh, informative for me. Similar to when I was watching Ben Crane take a lesson on Dr. Kwan's channel. They're really like trying to get deep into, okay, he's telling me to do this thing. 
and I might not be getting it now, but like what, it, you know, they're trying to put it because all we have is words, but we're, what we're talking about is like a complicated movement feeling. So you really got to start saying, okay, how does that feel? Start to put the feels in connection to the words that the teacher is trying to tell you to do. If you guys would like to see that entire lesson, it's like, I think over 40 minute lesson and plus a ton of other hours of other footage from our most recent school we were filming constantly. I put all the raw footage up at bebettergolf.net slash premium. I think it's really interesting and a lot of people have been liking it. Thanks for watching everybody. Click the subscribe button. See you later. Bye.